World Series Game 3. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Chicago Cubs. Major League Baseball, only on 2K Sports. World Series Game 3. Welcome Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, and John Cruck. This series now at 2-0. The big bat of Derek Lee. You'll get a chance to watch him in action today. They love being here and they're ready to cheer. Over 40,000 in their seats. The starter, Ryan Dempster. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Well, pitching's the key to win any ball game. And with their quality right-hander on the mound today, that's going to be a key as well against this outstanding lineup. He's going to have to execute his pitches to get the outs. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? You'd love to see how Joe Creed's career would have played out if he didn't have so many back injuries. Here's a guy that, that can hit the ball out of the ballpark. He's one of the better third basemen that you'll ever see in baseball in his career. But the fact that he's had all these injuries, but let's see if he can stay healthy and put together a good one. And it starts here today with this game. And so Johnny Damon leaves it off. Steve, how about a comment on the Cubs in this one? Well, they obviously haven't played as well as they would have liked so far, but that's all in the past. You can't change it. You have to forget about it. You have to worry about today and be motivated to get the job done. Good pitch from Dempster. Swung on and missed. That's often time, Steve. We're talking about getting yourself back into a game where being a veteran comes into play or a veteran team, a Sometimes has a better chance. They faced this before. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And he's on. First batter up. That could be a good sign offensively. Had a chance to check out the Cubs' defense as they're out on the field. Any scouting picks, Steve? Kosuke Fukudome is a guy that played a lot of center field in his career. Whether he's in center field or he's in the corners, he can make plays. He's not afraid of the wall. He's willing to go up and make the tough catch. Here's the delivery. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Here it comes. Swung on, a fly ball heading towards the corner and right. That one, a one-hopper off the wall. And here's Damon going to try to score. And the throw. And he's in there to score all the way from first base. Chicago White Sox. First base, number 14. Uh, oh one mistake right here he throws it over the heart of the plate and he pays for it Paul Canerco to the plate runner in scoring position uh, Steve they needed to take the lead and they've come through just as well. this one's pretty well hit to deep left center this one to Soriano what Ramirez is headed for third play they'll get that runner over to third base listen they got a pitch at the way something he could drive he didn't get all of it but at least able to advance the run Carlos Quinton batting now there's one down and it's all one Dempster getting him to look here he has an outstanding slider I mean that's really the pitch to look for such great movement on that pitch and Quinton watches that one go by and the count is even now, Gary, when you talk about his slider, it's not only the movement, but the fact that he can throw it in the exact same spot where he throws his fastball on the previous. Now a swing and the ball hit well, deep to right field, way back there. Goodbye, a two-run homer. A little distance now, increasing their lead, one to three. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. One out, faces him. Fastball, swing and a miss, stolen one. Yeah, we've got offense here in the first inning, just the way they wanted to start this ball game. Now the pitching's going to have to settle down here. Now I know it's early, but you don't want this thing to spiral out of control. He delivers. Now swing and a shot toward second.
And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Boy, I don't know on that count, Steve. Number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that where it was. You're right. On an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. The pitch. Couldn't pull the trigger in time. He's behind 0-2. And Alex Rios has struck out a big swing and a miss. And he only got to see three pitches. Now, unhittable pitches, but he saw them nonetheless. Well, that's a tough at bat for the hitter who's got to walk away almost before he even got there. The pitch from Dempster. Line shot into center field. And that'll get him aboard there on a roll. He'll now hold base. there at For second the base, credit him with a double. Third baseman, number 29, Joe Creedy. Well, he swung the bat well in the last game, getting two hits, and he seems to be continuing it in this one. And that oh. one fouled off by Creedy. And the 0-1 by Dempster. Swing and a line drive. That's down. The run's coming in. And Pierzynski comes across too. Now Base hit not. And a big one. Brings in a couple of runs. Hitter, number 27, Jim Tillman. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Strike one. Swing and a miss. Tommy, strike one. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. A shot up the middle, and there's another one. They really are stringing these hits up. Well, you know he's at an all-time high coming into this game. A big win in their last game. He had three hits to contribute. Things are going great for him right now. First pitch on the way to Damon. Well hit towards the middle. And he'll step on the bag. That'll do it. Wow, they deal some serious damage. First inning really starting out with a bang. The White Sox on top, five to nothing. And it'll be Jared Washburn doing the pitching. He gets settled in for Chicago. As he gets into this Cub lineup, Steve, what are we talking about strategy? Now Jared Washburn out on the mound, and this one get a chance to watch the crafty left-hander do his work, commanding all of his pitches. He needs to work ahead of the count and throw the off-speed stuff for strikes to expand the strike zone. Here's the pitch to Soriano. This is how the Cubs offense will look, sponsored by Pepsi. Scouting Big John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, you watch Ryan Terrio play, and he's the kind of guy that can do a lot of things on a baseball field. He gives pitchers a lot of fits because he... On the ground to short, and he scoops it up. One, and that's two, a double play. Now with two outs, chance for Derek Lee. Only a couple tries going one for two, lifetime against Washington. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on that curveball. It's 0 and 1. Here's the delivery. Swung on, and that's foul back. And he fouls another one off. Well, you can tell right there that the batter is in protection mode. Anything close, he's just trying to put it in play. The fact that he fouled it off will keep this at-bat going. 
Strike three. Derek Lee down without a swing on that pitch. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. The White Sox still on top. Well, we'll uh, won't consider it extreme weather, but it is very cold here. Field conditions are okay. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Doubled home a run in his last at bat. And Ramirez settles in first pitch. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Baker. Yeah. One away. And it's Paul Canerco now. Last time up. Flew up. Base is empty. One out. Sliders in there for a called strike. This is where you want to go with the breaking ball to the outside corner. Paint the black. Get the call. The hitter gave up on it. He got the pitch he wanted. Oh! That's it. Foul by Canerco. Canerco oh! fouls off another. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0 2 count. He wanted him to swing the bat, and he did, but he just fouled it off. Great piece of hitting. Ball Trying one. to get him to chase a slider, but it's one and two. And Dempster with the one two delivery. And he cannot pull the trigger. Paul Canerco strikes him. Good movement, 89 miles per hour. He can't show the team. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Boy, a big number. 405 lifetime off the Cubs. And here's the pitch. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Taps this one foul to the right. Grounder, Lee. It's picked up. And he'll step on first to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no one left on. White Sox five, the Cubs nothing. Big bats ready to make an appearance. A glimpse there, Lou Pinello. This is where the experience comes to play. Such a huge, important role in World Series action. The ring is in sight. Lead off hitter, Aramis Ramirez. Swung on, that is hit. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with the single. And that's going to bring Giovanni Soto up. Well, a good piece of hit right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. But don't let the numbers from last year fool you. It's sharply down the line. Too late, and he is safe at second. He's on board way ahead of that play. The opportunity for offense is right now. It's Baker at the plate. Fastball just misses. 1 and 0. Lifetime, he's hit 2 for 7 off the White Sox. Gets that call at the knees, evens the count at 1 apiece. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. And there's two, a double play. Number two. Runner over at third base for Ryan Terrio. Smash towards the hole, played by Canerco. And he'll step on first to retire the side. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. The Cubs still looking for that offense. And Beckham's in the box. He's one for one so far. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. First pitch. Good pitch from Dempster. Swung on and missed. Well, a great pitch and a great strike right there to get that pitch down and away. Look. You can throw it out there consistently. You keep doing it, you're going to have a lot of success. Now Soto sets up. 
And that one sails by Gordon Beckham. He catches him napping and strike three. A good break on a 90 mile an hour pitch. One out. And Alex Rios at the plate. And he starts Rios out. That one swung on, hit in the air. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. There's the throw. Rios towards third base. Gets in there in time. He is safe at third. At the plate for the Chicago. Nice White job Sox. on this. Hits the dirt, gets a triple. A close AJ one right there, Gary. Split second later, and he's out. No hesitation at all. He goes straight in. He's in there. And he's got. A, he doesn't know where that throw is coming from when he's doing that, so he's just hoping he's ahead of it. Chance to drive it a run. AJ Pierzynski had a double his last time up. The pitch from Dempster. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. It's off the wall on a hop. And Rios comes in. At the plate. You want your hitters to go with the pitch. Don't try to force things. The ball's away. He drives it away. Use the whole part of that plate and the whole part of that bat. He did. Kids, you want to learn how to hit? That's how you do it. And Joe Creedy in the box. One player picking up after another, Steve. This is this is a good offensive show going on, and they're climbing the ladder with it. The runs just keep on coming, right? Smashes that one towards the shortstop. Yeah. And pretty yeah. retired. At the plate for the Chicago White Sox. Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tony. Not many players could ever dream of 20, much less get there. He has. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Ball! And Dempster outside the zone. That'll be a ball. A good action on that pitch running away, but it's a ball you have to get down to the zone. Don't throw it up. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. And Pierzynski comes in. At the plate. Well, anytime your pitcher gives up 10 hits, there's a pretty good chance he doesn't have a lot going for him in the game. And I think if I'm the manager, I'm going to head out there and bring the hook with me. Runner on first now for Johnny Damon. Well, this may be one of those games where everybody comes to the plate and everybody gets on. Well, these bats are on absolute fire today, Gary. Swung on and ripped towards second. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Ozzy Guillen taking a look at you right there. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. Power batting. Right. There's one that's in there called strike. Oh, well, it's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone down and away. He had no chance to put that one. Up. Swing, hot shot. Washburn. And one away. Fast reaction by the pitcher right there. That ball got back on him quickly. He makes the play. Nice job. Washburn set and delivered. Fastball too low. 1 0. Here's the 1 0. Hit sharply towards the hole. So Fukudomi is set down. And Alfonso Soriano up. He had a single in his last time up. Here's the pitch to Soriano. First pitch, fastball, 0 1. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. And a quick inning for Jared Washburn. He continues to dominate. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Career numbers, 318 batting average against the Cubs. Not in front on that one, strike one. This is a swing hit in the air. That one in the alley. This could be two or more. He throws. 
pulls now, into second back. with that double, so he's in scoring position now with nobody out. Well, great hitters get hits at just the right time, and this double right here with no one down is a nice leadoff hit to get the offense rolling early here in this inning. And it's Paul Canerco now. Got looking last time. Swings on that first pitch. Misses the fastball. 0-1. Okay, this is not looking real good right now. They've got to try to find a way to stem the tide here. Strike two. No balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Well, you talk about a guy who just corkscrewed himself into the ground. Bad timing. And Paul Canerco watching that one go by to even the count up. Well, you watch how the hitter reacted to that. He had thoughts about chasing that pitch, but at the last second decided to lay off of it. It rolls all the way to the wall. And Ramirez is home. Now coming to bat for the Chicago. Well, he saw a pitch that he really liked, and he did not miss it. A really nice job with nobody out keeping this inning going and picking up that RBI. Great, great piece of hitting. Here's the first pitch. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Pitch on the way. Line towards second. Gets one at second. And there's the second out of double play. The Keystone area can get a little rusty. Might turn on the double play. Just the way they draw it up. Great pivot by the shortstop. And Beckham's in the box. One for two in the ballgame. Base is empty and two down. Here's the first one. Swings and misses. The good change right there. On one. Boy, he just couldn't wait for that change up to get in the strike zone. You can't try to chase it. You have to let it come to you. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. So they pick up a run on two hits and leave no one on. Baseball's familiar faces, including that of Lou Pinello. And a bit of frustration at this point, not the game he'd hoped, at least now. And we've got Bird batting. He'll lead it off here, bottom half of the four. Washburn set and delivers. Flied to right. And it's going to be Quentin. He comes in a little, gets the other. Chicago Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. That's six in a row that he's set down. Now Lee gets set. Lined, foul towards third. No balls, one strike, Washburn. One and one. Oh, that one's way back to the backstop. Not a pretty pitch, no damage. Strike Call, two. strike two. Oh, Gary, into the fourth inning right here now. They, they've gotten three hits in this one, so they've had a few base runners, but they haven't been able to lump them together to be able to generate any runs so far. Coming to back. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a K. Number six. It's the best pitch in baseball. A fastball down and away. If you can master that, you can be successful. He's successful. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Lined up the middle. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with the single. There's the throw. And that's going to bring Giovanni Soto up. Well, the inning is never over with this team. Two outs, they get that guy at first base with that big hit. Another guy gets on base. This could set up a big rally. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And there's the third up. Jared Washburn coming off the mound. Plenty of run support as he takes if you are just tuning in, I, Gary Thorne, along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips, we bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. He hit 263, wow. lifetime off the Cubs. Line drive left of the bag and foul. He deals. Hit hard down the right field side. Hits back towards the wall, and he still puts it away. It's going to be Brzezinski. Two for two in the game. Nobody on base. One away. First pitch to him. 
A line drive towards short. And he gets it down. That's his third hit. Three for three. That's going to bring Joe Creedy up. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? He delivers. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Uh, Gary, they could really use a double play ball right here to get out of this inning and put a zero up on the board so they can at least get some hope they can come back. Swing and a miss. He's behind 0-2. And Joe Grady comes up empty, a swing, no contact. Well, that's what you love to see from a pitcher setting guys down quickly. Keeps that pitch count down. One, two, three. Can't pass for any more efficiency than that, John. Now an excellent pitch selection there. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Hit hard to second. Throws to first side is retired. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. The White Sox eight. Jeff Baker leading it off. He hit into a double play his last time. Number 28, Jeff Baker. First pitch on the way. Ball. That's a breaking ball. Go outside for ball one. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going. Only one runner left. Up. That one's lined softly towards the gap left center. That one gets through for a base hit. That'll bring Ryan Terrio to the plate. A uh, nice piece of hit right there. You get on base to start the inning with no outs. And you know, all it does is you want to just keep the line moving if you're the guys behind it. Ontario ready. First pitch. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. He's just popping that glove with that four seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. Oh, and Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. Washburn set and delivers. Now swing and a shot toward second. And there's one. Back to first. Not in time. One and two won't get it. They get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. One down, runner at first. And the first pitch. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. That's the second out of the inning. Stepping up to the plate for the Chicago Cubs. Center fielder. And it's Kosuke Fugadomi at the plate. He bounced out his last time. Smash towards the middle. And Ramirez fields the ball. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. Getting it done once again, Jared Washburn. He's been quite the contrast on the mound today. A shutout for him through five. And it'll be the White Sox. It's Damon at the plate. We'll get things started off as we go to the sixth. Number 18, Johnny Damon. Now Soto sets the target. Damon swings and misses for strike one. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Swing and a miss. He's in the hole. Two strikes. Here it comes. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out. One down. Well, textbook way of pitching. Three pitches, three strikes. Outstanding command during that at bat. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Can't connect. It's 0 1. Hot shot towards the hole. Throws in time to first. What a play. And a stretch himself out at first base. Still able to make the throw. Great quickness to get to that ball, but then to get to his feet and make an accurate flip. That's athleticism. Swings, clobbers this one. Deep left center field. Goodbye, home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Well, they say things are contagious. Well, good hitting can be contagious. So can power. These guys are going deep. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. First pitch to Quinton. Change up in there for a called strike. 
And a big, big offensive day, Steve. Like you said, uh, they've just got the bats rolling today. Uh, tough, going to be very tough. Hit sharply towards the hole. And it gets through a two for four ball game. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Why, that's hit number 15 in them for that one. And boy, you get 15 hits in the game. The manager can just sit back and relax and watch his team work. A runner on first with two outs. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a ball hit high and deep. Way back there at the warning track. Gone! A two-run homer. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. Pitcher coming high and tight inside. A tough pitch to hit and keep fair. He was able to do it. Get that bat around in a hurry, and that's what he did, and a couple are on the board. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Here's the pitch. Headed for the middle. And that'll get him aboard. They are on a roll. That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Well, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. I mean, now it's four straight hits. He's got to start wondering what's going on. Maybe he's tipping his pitches or they're just figuring him out. First pitch. And he takes a called strike. His batting average, 306 lifetime against the Cubs. Swing and lined up the middle. And it gets down. Hit after hit. They just keep on coming. He's got four today. Now well, this is unbelievable. I mean, this guy's Wilson. completely lost it out there now. They've Number strung together five Joe consecutive Bieber. hits against him. Clearly, he's run out of gas. And it'll be Joe Bimel doing the pitching. He's coming on in relief for the Cubs. Johnny gets towards the middle. Oh, my. How did he get out of the way of that? Those are scary. Now, a real pressure mounting right now. That base hit loads up the bases. He's going to have to make a pitch and try to get out of this mess. Two outs. Bases loaded. Here's the delivery. Now he swings. Hits this one very high. Deep left center field. A grand slam home run. That one really seals this one, Steve. A grand slam. That puts him way out in front. Now, a tough inning for the Cubbies right here. They're just not pitching well. Well, you make these kinds of mistakes, they're making them pay for it. Two outs and nobody on. The pitch. Lee fields the ball. And he'll step on first to retire the side. But not before they really opened this thing up with three long balls. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And Alfonso Soriano up. One for two in the ball game. Number 12, Alfonso Soriano. Here's the pitch to Soriano. Ground ball, Creedy. It's gobbled up. Oh. Over to Canerco. What a way now. Number 23. And we've got Bird batting. Bird. He's gone five for 14 lifetime against Washburn. That's at the knees for a called strike. Jerry, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound. The defense has not felt that much pressure either. I mean, only one runner left on base, and you know, we're moving through the middle part of this ball game. So, you know, they're doing a nice job shutting down this offense. Swing and a miss, one and two. One two pitch coming. Swings, lines this one back up the middle, and that'll put Bird on first. Now batting for the Chicago. He takes this one two base. pitch down in the Number zone. 25. He's able to go down and get it. Garrett get a good Lee. part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit when you're behind in the count. You just want contact, and he got it. Now Lee gets set. Ball. Missed ball one. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. 
Washburn set and delivered. A swing and a foul off to the right side. The one two on its way. Swing and a miss on the cutter that time. Two down. Here's the cutter coming at you. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Ball one. A 1 0 -oh pitch. That one is hit well. Quentin's there. And that's going to do it in this half inning. And he has just been magnificent through six. Still got outs to get Steve, but he's in this one. Now, Gary, he's got his great stuff and his great location. No production yet from the Cubs. None other than Ozzie. That's Ozzie Guillen. He has to be happy with the work on the mound, especially that last inning. Insurance runs so important. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He'll lead off the seventh inning. Pitch on the way. From his knees, got him. What a throw. Tremendous play right here. and took a good arm to complete it. It's one thing to get to the ball and make the play. It's another thing to make that accurate a throw from your knees. Great job. Canerco at the plate. Had a home run back in the sixth. First pitch on the way, up the middle, and it gets through. He's had the swing going today on base three out of five. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Well, anytime you're a hitter, you can get three hits in a game. You're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be, and he's on now with one out. One out, man on first. First pitch to Quinton. There's a ball hit well deep into center field way back way back over the wall a two run home run two run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had going to see Jeff Samaja pitching as the Cubs turn to him in relief and Beckham's in the box one out nobody on. And the first pitch. There's a swing and a hit deep into center field. Way back there. Out of here. A home run. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Number 51, Alex Rio. On the way. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0-1. The pitch. That's a strike in its own two. Time for Rios now to protect. He strikes out Alex Rios on a swing and a miss. A good job of coming in on his hands to make him miss there. Great work done right there. He almost corkscrewed himself into the ground, John. Well, have to shorten the stroke or open up a little bit to be able to turn on a pitch like that. Well hit towards the middle. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. But they strike for three runs here thanks to two home runs in the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Now their rookie catcher at the plate. Number 41. And he gets this one by him on one. Well, what an outstanding effort uh, by the pitcher today. I mean, he has just been on top of his game, making the pitches. And offensively, they just have not been able to back hits up with other hits to mount the rally. They've been held scoreless here today. Ground ball towards second. Back up. Over to Canerco. That's one away. It's Baker at the plate. Had a base hit his last time up. First pitch, here it comes. Cut on and missed 0 and 1. That'll be a strike, and it'll take the count to 0 and 2 now. So, Jeff Baker, let's see what he does behind 
A fastball up in the zone like that, a pitch a lot of guys like to hit. He just couldn't swing the bat. Two down. Man, he has just mastered this offense in this ball game, and no signs he's letting up. Now he's been sharp all game long, but you just hope going through the order for the third time and the fourth time, guys don't start picking up on the tendency. Hit up the middle. And that's a base hit. Terrio on board. And uh, that'll bring up uh, Michael Hoffman. 0 for 2 thus far. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch to him. Drill towards third. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And Stevie has shut him down, and it's seven now under his belt. Leading it off, Joe Creedy. Had a couple of hits, four trips to the plate. Well, he's already driven in a couple Joe runs in this one, Gary. you got to believe they're going to pitch him a little bit more carefully this time around. Here's the pitch. Slider just misses, 1-0. Oh. Batting average for him, just 190 against the Cubs. Swing and a miss, Creedy, no contact, evens the count. Well, a lot of times movement will pull a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. The one-two pitch. A swing and a miss, strike three, but a chance at first. And he's safe at first base. Yikes, that's a stolen runner right there. Now swinging a bad pitch out of the zone. The catcher could not keep it in front to get the out. Could be a costly mistake. We'll see how it affects the rest of the game. Great chance to do something on an out that should have been recorded and wasn't. So Jim Tomey coming up. You might remember that grand slam in his last at bat. Here's the pitch. And he leaves that pitch alone. Jim Tomei with patience evens the count. Takes a swing at that fastball. Doesn't get to it. One and two. Well, I tell you what, for a two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Swing and a hot shot. Well, they just can't figure out a way to get this guy out. That's now four hits for him in this game. First pitch on the way to Damon. First pitch is a slider low, 1-0. The 1-0 now. Ball lifted high in the air. Deep down the line in right. Goodbye, a three-run homer. With that three-run homer, they just extended their lead. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Ground out victim last time through. Bases clear, no outs. First pitch on the way. Hot shot towards the hole. And they'll record the out at first base. Good timing on that play. We might not have been able to get him out of the plate, but a short run over to first and still retires his man. One out, nobody on. Here's the delivery. A smash towards the hole. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Carlos Quinton batting now. There's one down. First pitch to Quinton. Swing and a miss, and he's behind that pitch. 0 and 1. Well, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it, or he's got no chance to hit it. Line drive, and that'll get him aboard. They are on a roll. Are you talking about a guy who's just wearing out the opposition? That's a four hit day for him. He is locked in. Runners on first and second with one out. The pitch. And he swings and hits this one foul. Here's the pitch. And another foul ball. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. 
It's off the ivy. The throw. That is going to try and score here. And Canerco will score. And Quinton scores too. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Alex Rio. Oh, that big hit right there. He only needs a triple to complete the cycle. But hey, that's the toughest one to get. Let's see if he can do it. And we got Sean Marshall out on the mound. He's coming on in relief for the Cubs. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Some real versatility in Sean Marshall. I got a chance to take a look at right here. That sweeping breaking ball makes him very good against left-handers, but the change-up and curveball and the location of the fastball allows him to handle right-handed hitters as well. And he'll just keep it himself, tagged him for the out. It's going to be Brzezinski. And he can't pull it in. And there's an RBI crossing. Now batting for the Chicago. And that is hit number five in this ball game for him. Have a day, young man. Two outs and a runner on second. First pitch to Creedy. Swung on and missed. Strike one. It's tough for hitters to protect both sides of the plate. You can't protect the outside and the inside, especially when you're throwing your fastball down and away. Good spot for the changeup that time. One and two. And he struck him out. The side is finally retired. They've really opened this thing up now. They've opened up a seemingly insurmountable advantage. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Fruck, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And that misses 1-0. But Jerry, listen, he's, he's made pitches. He's had, they've had a few base runners on against them. No question about it. They've gotten a few hits. But he's, not, he's been able to keep them from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept them off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. Watches that fastball go by, and now he's at one and two. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. Oh. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. Oh. And it remains one and two. Well, anytime you're behind in the count, you just want to try to spread out and try to put the ball in play. And that's what he did right there. He didn't put it in play, though, but he kept it foul to keep the at-bat alive. And that will bring up Alfonso Soriano. Well, you wonder he had the energy to run to first base after seeing that many pitches, fouling off pitches, taking tough pitches. But he did. But thank goodness he only had to run 90 feet because I'd imagine he was pretty tired. No balls, one strike, Washburn. Strike two, Soriano. Then have to be careful here. Oh. Still low and two. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. Damon. As he drops back and puts it away. And now we've got one down here in this eighth inning of a shutout ball game. Now he's just putting on a show out there right now. Here's the first pitch. Last ball in there for a called strike. Washburn set and delivered. This is that fastball already 0-2. Taps this one foul off to the left. Two down now, and you got to be thinking ahead just a little bit. He doesn't look like he's getting tired. It's still a shutout. Well, at this point, adrenaline just takes over. He's focused, determined. He's ignoring any fatigue. Here's a swing and a liner to left center, and it's in there. Oh, that one did not come too soon for him. He's had a very tough offensive day. The Cubs in a nice position to capitalize. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. Well, they still can't buy a run. They've been held scoreless through eight. The White Sox still ahead. 
And Jim Tomei to lead it off. He's four for five in this game. He's just on a tear right now. He's seeing the ball so well. He's driving in runs, scoring runs, hitting home runs, doing a little bit of everything to help his team win. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Tommy will foul that one away. Can't catch up with it. 0 and 2. I pulled the string on that curveball, took a little bit off, and had him way out in front. Swing and a miss on the breaker. One down. That's a big breaking ball. Just at 75 on the gun. And it's Johnny Damon now. Career average for him, 338 against the Cubs. Here's the pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Swing on and miss, strike two. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And that gets down. Damon, base hit. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Can't connect. It's 0-1. Well, he fooled him terribly with that pitch. And I mean, that is one of those pitches right there that you have to notice it out of the hand, recognize it early so you can stay back and try to drive that thing the other way. A swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez is retired. Well, that one's as straight as a straight. Just registered 91 in the gun. Here's the pitch. Ball. And there's ball one. Good odds here. Six ABs, two hits, lifetime against Sean Marshall. A 1 0 pitch. Hit hard to second. And that is hit number five in this ball game for him. Have a day, young man. So Carlos Quinton comes up here with two runners on. He's driven home four so far. But Gary, he's been an absolute nemesis today. I mean, he's so locked in right now. And two home runs in this one, and obviously they got a chance to run away with him. And that'll do it as Terrio puts it away. So no runs, two hits, and they strand two. Up next, it'll be the Cubs. Catcher up to the plate. He's going to lead off the home half of the ninth inning. The first pitch. Taps this one foul to the right. Swing and a rocket towards short. And it's caught by Ramirez. Then you get this close, two outs away from having a complete game shutout. Now, Gary, it always helps to have solid defensive play, backing you up when you're trying to put the finishing touches on a game like this. Takes a call, strike one. Well, he's dazzled them out on the mound here in this one. He shut them down, keeping them off the board. Only three runners left on base, and they really haven't even challenged the defense. I mean, will bring Ryan Terrio to the plate. Nice piece of hitting right there. He manages to drive that high 0-1 pitch for a base hit. Good patience, good pitch recognition. It sure looked like the hitter decided he wasn't going to get behind 0 and 2. He was going to rail. Well, he was aggressive, no question about it. Got a pitch he could handle and took advantage. Washburn set and delivers. This one's grounded hard up the middle. There's one and two. Double play. Fans going home unhappy in this one. Their offense just did not get it done as the opposing pitching just shut them down. Wow. And about that time, we present our Pepsi Clutch performer, great mound work, Jared Washburn. Well, you couldn't have asked for a more dominant display on the mound than what we saw today. He was mixing his pitches well, changing speeds, but the thing you noticed, he didn't throw any pitches over the center of the plate. That's what made it so special. And when he needed it, he could get back and reach back and get that little bit extra when he needed that big out. Made it look easy out there today, Gary. And as they put the victory up in this one, they now sit enviably, we might add, just one win away from winning the series. And you have to credit them. They've come so far this year, and now they find themselves just one win away. This has to be a gratifying victory. And we hope you've enjoyed today's 2K sports broadcast of Major League Baseball. For Steve John and our entire 2K sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. We will see you soon.